Ultrasound is an excellent initial test, especially for children and pregnant women and for screening purposes. It permits evaluation of the kidneys, bladder wall, and volume, as well as the contour of the collecting system and ureters. Ultrasound is greater than 90% sensitive and specific for hydronephrosis. This ultrasound in specific shows major dilation of the calyces. Abdominal CT scan without IV contrast provides great views for locating the site of an obstruction. MRI is an alternative to CT, however, it cannot directly detect a stone and is cumbersome, time-consuming, and very expensive. Other exams include a voiding cystourethrogram or VCUG, which can diagnose vesoureteral reflux and bladder neck or urethral obstruction. Definitive management will depend upon the presence of obstruction, the etiology, and the location of the hydronephrosis. Prompt treatment of infection and rapid relief of obstruction prevent long-term loss of kidney function. Chronic bilateral obstruction, such as from benign prosthetic hypertrophy or neurogenic bladder, may cause chronic kidney disease. The general principles of treatment include watchful waiting for asymptomatic or minimally symptomatic patients with no infection concerns and no severe electrolyte derangements or acute kidney injury. Surgical treatment causing acute obstruction associated with urinary tract infection, acute kidney injury, or uncontrollable pain should occur. A straight cath is indicated for bladder outlet obstruction and ureteral stenting for internal decompression of one or both kidneys. Percutaneous nephrostomy tubes may be required in the setting of extrinsic ureteral compression or when ureteral stenting is not possible or fails. Prompt emergent referral is paramount in the setting of severe symptoms, infection, or impaired renal function. Urology should be consulted for diagnostic and or therapeutic procedures, oncology if neoplasm is diagnosed, and gynecology if pregnancy or female pelvic anatomy is involved. The reason why we care as clinicians is because complete or prolonged partial urinary tract obstruction can lead to irreversible renal injury. How well the kidneys do after relief is dependent upon the severity and duration of the obstruction. If the obstruction is relieved within one week, there's basically normal recovery of GFR, while there's just about no recovery if it occurs after 12 weeks.